Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just after 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York on a Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 5th day of July, 2024, and this is uh, the evening report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review. We certainly saw follow through buying in gold after the release of today's jobs report after a $36 gain occurred on Wednesday. Today, we had an additional $28.30, taking August gold to $2,397.70 after trading to a low of $2,356 and a high of $2,401.50. Silver also had follow through buying after Wednesday's tremendous move, 2.75%, a net gain of 84 and a half cents, taking July silver to $31 and 69 cents. And although dollar weakness provided tailwinds, they were fractional at best, but the dollar continued its methodical decline to lower values, giving up 0.27%, taking the index to 104.87. Traders, as you know, all week we have been focusing on what we believe to be a key and critical report, the jobs report that came out today. We talked about the fact that the initial estimates were around 190,000 to 200,000, depending on who did the polling. The actual numbers came out to indicate that 206,000 new jobs were added, a strong contraction from the prior month's 272,000. Just before the release of the report, we sent out the first of two trade alerts this morning. Trade alert, place buy limit order for August gold GCQ4 at 2357, place a good till canceled stop at 2348. After the order was filled, we sent out an additional trade alert stating that our limit order was filled at $2,357 and to raise your good till canceled stop to $2,364. Fortunately, the intraday low today was $2,356, allowing our limit order to be filled. We currently have our stop at $2,364, and we will look to address our stop now that gold is trading just 20 cents shy of $2,400 per ounce at $2,399.80. Traders, this has been the primary chart we've used to illustrate the chart patterns we've identified, beginning with the first of two flat bottom descending tops. This first one occurred after the dramatic rise in October, ended a strong rally, moving gold from $1,900 up to approximately $2,200. The following correction that concluded at 2050 the move above the thrust, taking gold parabolic, the bull flag, and then the first of two highs. Now, gold is currently trading, as I said, just shy of $2,400 per ounce. It matches very roughly with this high that came in on the seventh day of June. And we'll want to see if we get follow through buying and a move to higher pricing or some sort of a pullback on Monday. It was a substantial move considering that gold opened at approximately 2335 on Wednesday and closed today almost at 2400. However, if it does not find resistance and continues to move higher, the first area we would look at would be this high that came in back on the 19th of April at approximately 2435. And of course, the all time record close at 2460 basis, the most active August contract. If gold continues to track higher, 
We will effectively work with our stomps throughout next week. If gold does back off and this price point right around 2400 proves to be effective resistance, we could see gold track as low as $2,375. That is based upon this top right here. We have already moved our stop to $2,364. So we do have an effective stop should the market back off. We will act accordingly once we see the opening range for Monday. As far as silver goes, Wednesday and today's move have certainly got my attention with the fact that Silver today overcame $31. That is very close to these tops at $31.17. As I have stated, I want to see if silver can challenge these recent highs. Although we've seen a sizable move up, I'd like to see a move on a closing basis above $32 before we feel strongly enough to believe that we wouldn't be buying the top, but buying a potential breakout from 32 to a price point in silver that we haven't seen, which is between 32 and $40. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you after the weekend for the next evening report. Bye-bye.